Thought Groups and Blending Speakers of English organize their words into thought groups. Within each thought group is a focus word. Dividing a section of speech into a thought group makes it easier for the listener to concentrate on your ideas. Listen to the following two recordings. The first one doesn't use thought groups, whereas the second one uses thought groups. Example. Today, I would like to talk to you about farming, which is one of the most important resources we have in our country. The next example. Today, I would like to talk to you about farming which is one of the most important resources we have in our country. Which example is easier to understand? Additionally, within each thought group, speakers make smooth transitions from one idea to the next, often by linking the last sound of one word to the first sound of another word. This process, called blending, makes a thought group sound like one long word. Though blending makes listening comprehension difficult for some non-native speakers of English, it sounds perfectly natural to native speakers who have no difficulty understanding blended thought groups. Listen to the following two recordings. The first one doesn't use blending, whereas the second one does use blending. Example. It is easy. The next example. It's easy. Which example sounds more natural? Listening activity one, detecting thought groups. Listen to the speaker say the phrases. Using a sheet of paper, write A if you hear one thought group, write B if you hear two thought groups then repeat the phrases after the speaker. 1. 20 three-foot-long sticks. 2. 10-minute-long video segments. 3. 30 three-hour-long speeches. 4. 38 cent candies. 5. 16 foot long hot dogs. Six. 83 inch pencils. 7. 50 six foot metal strips. 8. Three-month-long vacations. 9. Too hard to sell automobiles. 10. 90. Two-dollar erasers. Listening Activity 2. Thought Groups and Intonation. At the end of a final thought group, there is a sharp drop in pitch, which indicates that the speaker is done with his statement. If a thought group is not the final thought group, there is a half pitch fall, which means the speaker is not done with his turn. Listen to the two examples. In the first example, the speaker is not done speaking. In the second example, the speaker is done speaking. I would like to go. I would like to go. In the following exercise, listen to the speaker and write A if he seems to be finished with his statement, write B if he is not finished talking. Then repeat the sentences after the speaker. 1. Where are you going? 
I'm going to Corona. 2. Susan went shopping. She's looking for some shoes. 3. It will be a nice day. Let's go to the park. 4. Pat bought a new jacket. It cost him $45. 5. She's coming over later on. I invited her. 6. Could you give me your work number? 909-880-0332. 7. Where do you live? 1425 Keystone Drive. 8. Mark has two dogs. One is a Siberian Husky. Nine. I think he lives in New York. He lives on the corner 15th and Main. Ten. There is an island off the coast of Southern California. It is called Catalina Island. Pronunciation Practice 3, Paragraph In this exercise, you will listen to and read a paragraph. First, as you listen to the paragraph, try to identify the different thought groups in which the speaker slightly lowers his pitch. Second, make a digital recording as you read the paragraph aloud. You should also remember to use thought groups, paying particular attention that you do not pause too often. Make sure that you speak directly into your microphone so that you can get a clear recording of your pronunciation. After you finish, compare your recording to a sample native speaker recording. Many of the sports which the ancient Greeks practiced and which made up of a part of their own Olympics still survive in some way or other in the sports which we practice today. Their motivation, however, was for practice for war and is in such motivation that one can understand the emphasis on martial skills such as wrestling, boxing the javelin, and running, while still including such less directly applicable sports as discus and jumping. Over time, as interest grew in sport and competition alone, new sports were added. But it was these core sports which stood the test of time and which have continued to be practiced in similar form right up to the present day. Wrestling must be regarded as the most important sport practice in ancient Greece. The very name Palestra, wrestling school, must indicate its importance in Greek life. Nor need we be surprised at this, for all over the world, in cultures far distant from each other, one can find styles of wrestling and fighting, for it is a useful skill in war. Pause the video to make your recording now. Here is a paragraph divided into suggested thought groups. Now remember here that every speaker is slightly different. We don't always do it exactly the same way, but nevertheless it's just a basic example of how you could break up this idea with pauses. The main thing for you is, is try not to pause too often. That's very, very distracting when you're giving presentations and such. 